What's good, Prima Donna's back again today with another video. And in today's video, I am gonna be putting to the test hot new makeup okay yeah so before we all got quarantined and told to stay in our homes i did take a trip to ulta and i accumulated pretty much all of like the popular new makeup for this video i did film a instagram makeup haul and a lot of you were asking me to do a first impressions which was exactly what i was gonna do with all of the new makeup so here we are so yeah i did test out a lot of products in this video but this is pretty much how the look came out i love the way that this look came out it is just super smoky and sultry but it does have a pop of color i've never did like a pop of color with a smoky eye before so i'm just like bitch i am here for this like i said i don't want to ramble any longer because we have so many products to get into so let's just jump straight into this video and before you go make sure you hit the subscribe button and yeah thank you all for watching and until next time guys bye. so jumping straight into this video before we all got stuck in the house quarantined i did go to ulta and i picked up so many new makeup products as you guys can see okay the makeup addiction is real it's gonna be a first impressions and of course you guys did like my last testing out new makeup video so here we are i didn't have any new eyebrow products so i i did just do my regular schmegala eyebrow routine if you guys want to see how i do get these brows then of course i will leave the link down below to my five dollar eyebrow routine just in case you missed it so first things first we are going to jump into eyeshadow so i am going to zoom you guys in a little bit that way we can jump into the eyes okay so first item we're going to try is the new elf putty eye primer what it looks like and you guys know i am a huge fan of the elf putty face primer so the fact that they came out with an eye primer i was like <laughs> so this is the rose one they do have a translucent one or i think a white one i'm not even sure as always if you guys hear autumn she's playing with her toys my baby girl is so tired of staying in the house oh my god you guys like i feel so bad because autumn is so hyper that she's not a stay at home girl the box is totaled okay okay so it kind of does remind me of like a concealer kind of sort of kind of like swirl my brush in there and now i am oh okay so it is kind of like a little concealer moment oh that's cute okay She's nice and set. Okay, do I have to set this with powder? Okay, no. It says that it sets itself and it has a 12 hour crease proof wear. I don't know if I'm gonna be wearing this eyeshadow for 12 hours, bro. I said I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Yo, I need to stay off TikTok for real. All of them shits are like stuck in my head. Okay, anyway, so yeah, I do have two eyeshadow palettes. I should have kind of like planned out what look we were gonna do because i have no idea what we're about to do i do have the new morphe 18s sunset beats palette and then i also do have the new urban decay wired palette which is kind of like their revamped electric palette i honestly wanted to do a dedicated video with this because yeah i know i love me some neon if you're a true prima donna you know i love me some neons especially last year i was going off with the neons so i think i'm actually gonna like save this for another video to be honest yeah we're definitely gonna be playing with this today because i definitely want to do like a smoky eye with like a pop of color so let's just see how that goes you know my creative juices they're flowing right now okay so this is what the palette looks like like i said this is the sunset beats palette 18s and are you ready Ooh, girl. Okay, so she's definitely a vibe. So, first shade I am going into is this shade. Okay, there is no shade names, but is this shade right here? So, this is the real test to actually see if the primer works. Yeah, it actually did set down to like a powder finish. So, you actually don't have to set this eye primer with powder or anything like I'm used to when I, you know, use concealer. 
Ooh. Wow, that looks really smooth too. Holy shit. So far, I love the eye primer. Like, holy shit, I haven't used the eye primer in a minute. <laughs> Um, you guys know I just use my concealer, but girl that looks so good and it's so smooth. Okay So now I'm gonna go in with this shade down here How is everybody doing like honestly and I'm not talking about as far as you're staying in the house if you're stocked up on groceries No, I'm talking about how is your mental health you guys? I know that I don't talk about mental health a lot on my channel coming from somebody that does battle from anxiety and depression I definitely want to talk about mental health more um Honestly, which is also the reason why I'm filming today. I literally had to pick myself up because I wasn't doing that great yesterday. I'm going to be honest, which is why I'm asking you guys how you're doing. Because, you know, I'm human too. And I don't want you to think that every day is a glam show over here. Like, no, I'm going through it with all of y'all just as well. And I'm going to be honest with you. It was super hard to stay focused yesterday, especially my daughter. She was being super hyper and just not listening. Usually when I get anxiety, like I'll start crying and I cannot stop crying. Like I would literally cry the whole day. It's just like I can't stop crying. And that's where I was yesterday. I couldn't even get out of bed. Like I was just so mentally fucked up yesterday that today I'm so happy that I don't feel like that because for the sake of my daughter, I just didn't want to be like that two days in a row. That's why today I was like, mm -mm, nope, we're not doing that. Let's get up, let's get up. And now we're here and I'm not gonna lie, I feel so much better. So again, thank y'all for being here for me because y'all obviously not here with me physically, but y'all have no idea how much y'all take me out of that dark place whenever I do get there just by filming, so. Thank you so much. <laughs> not gonna lie, my camera did not record when I was actually deepening up my outer corner with this dark brown shade right here. But I kind of want to add a little bit more smokiness. So I'm actually gonna go in with a matte black eyeshadow. This is from Jouer in the shade Black Licorice. Just want to deepen up these outer corners right here. Just a little bit more like that. And then you're gonna go in and blend it out now what i'm actually gonna do is go in with the yellow right here i'm actually going to place this on the inner corner of my lid like as a base for the glitter because i actually do want to use that glitter yes i do so we're not cutting the crease or nothing crazy we're just literally just placing that yellow right here i'm not really too crazy about this yellow it's just like mm, it's not bad, but it's not great. I'm gonna take a little bit of face spray just to get my brush wet. Now yeah, I'm gonna pick up this glitter. Ooh, bitch. Oh my God. Oh my fucking God. <gasps> I love this look. Oh my God, this is my favorite look. I'm fucking drooling. That's how excited I get over makeup, yo. Like, bitch. This glitter definitely reminds me of the Aha uh -huh Honey one, but this one actually has more like green reflex in it, and it is a little bit more chunkier. Right. I love this. I love this a lot. Oh, because. The glitter kind of does have like have that little bit of like green little reflex in it. I am actually going to jump into the Urban Decay Wired palette because I want an inner corner shade. I feel like if I use that neon green in the inner corner, it's just going to completely kill this whole look. You know, like it's going to kill it one time for the one time. I'm going to take the shade Jolt right there, which is that neon green. And I don't know, we're just going to see what this is going to do. Ooh. Yes, bitch. So now I actually am gonna just do a really quick winged liner and throw on some false lashes and I'll be right back to show you guys the face prop. All right, you guys, so these are the eyes with the lashes and the winged liner. 
and I know these are some dramatic ass lashes. What else is a proper occasion to back them on? You know what I'm saying? So if you guys are wondering what eyelashes these uh, are, they're like so fucking extra all up in your face. So yeah, these are from my good girl, China Bell. She's actually an influencer on Instagram and I actually met her at the BH Cosmetics um, event. And since we kicked it off or whatever, she decided to slide in my DM and ask me if I wanted to try out her lashes. So these are her lashes, China Bell framed, and these are are in the style daddy's girl so i will leave them linked on my ig photo. okay so moving on to the face for primer i am going to be trying this new primer from benefit they did send this to me in pr and this is the new professional hydrate primer so they do have a couple of professionals they have the pearl one the original so now they just came out with a hydrating so hydrating and pore filling all in one because hmm, that's everything that I want in a primer. So this is what the actual packaging looks like. So it's definitely not as thick as the original. Oh, I like this a lot. Wow. Oh, wow. It is just like the ultimate smoothing cream. Wow. Okay, so I'm hyped because I just found probably like a new poppin' ass primer. This definitely is hydrating like it claims and it definitely filled in my pores. Like, I am so hyped. Oh my God. I need to buy new batteries for my fairy lights. They're kind of like dying back there. So we gotta like revive them. <laughs> Not supposed to go outside, but a bitch need batteries, so. I do have two new foundations. I do have the Milani Squirt. <laughs> I already knew it was gonna come out wrong. I ain't even wanna keep trying it. I have the Milani Screen Queen Foundation, which looks like this. I also have the NYX Born to Glow Foundation. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I did try this. Only one time though. And I really, really liked it for the first time, but being that I did try it already, I think I am gonna try the Milani one. I just wanted to give you guys an option because I don't know what this one's giving yet. Obviously, this is a first impression, so I don't wanna make you spend your coins on this, but this one I know for a fact is good. Like, I really, really like it. They did come out with the concealer for the NYX Born to Glow. I do have the concealer as well, but the concealer is trash. Don't even waste your money on it, girl. That shit got no coverage. Really, really like the packaging with the frosted top. I feel like it looks really, really sleek, especially for a drugstore foundation. Now, the reason why this is called Screen Queen is because this actually has a digital blue light filter, which is supposed to give you like amazing looking skin in photos and things like that. So obviously we're gonna put it to the test today. I do have mine in the shade 310, which is Golden Sand. What's Thick. So really quickly, the claims on this foundation is it is a luminous natural skin finish, buildable light to medium coverage, and it is long wearing. Okay, so it is very thick. Wow, they dead was not playing when they said light to medium coverage. My thing is, is just if it's light to medium coverage, why is it so thick? I just wish that it was a little bit thinner being that the coverage is so light. Like it is giving me color obviously compared to that side. So it's like evening out my skin tone. But I can still see all of like the little like veins and stuff in my face. And girl, especially with this eye look, we gonna need some full coverage here. It's not a bad foundation, but it's just not giving it to me. It's not giving me the coverage that I want for it being this thick. See all the veins peeking through. You can still see all the redness on my cheeks. And right here, you still kind of see all those like little red veins that I have. Mm -hmm. See what I'm talking about like this? Okay, no. <laughs> Hopefully the Born to Glow foundation would save the day, obviously, because we already have a full layer of foundation. I am not gonna use a lot of this, but girl, I, I just need more coverage. So this is the side that does have a little bit of the Born to Glow, and then this is just the Milani all on, on its own. As you guys can see, it is just not as popping as this side. So yeah, this kind of just like saves the day for me. You can see all of my discoloration right here on my cheek. And on this side, everything is nice and covered. Okay, so for concealer, I'm gonna be going in with the new Revolution Concealer. This is the Conceal and Define Infinite Longwear Concealer. So this claims to pre... This ca... 
Oh my God. This claims to be crease proof and also a 16 hour long wear. So this is what the packaging looks like. Did get mine in the shade C6. That looks kind of light. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my God, that looks super light. This is definitely not like a full coverage concealer. This is more of like a light to medium coverage concealer. It's too light. <laughs> yo so it is a little too light but as far as like coverage i think i'm just gonna go and exchange the shade because it looks a little too white on my under eyes like it is giving me a nice little highlight effect but i am not like a big fan of like super highlighted under eyes i am gonna go in with the new elf hydrating camo concealer as well this one is in the shade medium peach which is a little bit more of like that yellowy undertone now like i said i do want to test out this concealer so i'm really not gonna do much of the elf one because i already know that i like this but i just definitely need some of that warmth like you guys see that like i need that now for powder i am going to be taking the makeup revolution i'm not sure if this is new but this is new to me this is their conceal and fix loose setting powder so this is talc free and it has no flashback and it claims to be water resistant so yeah this one is in the shade medium yellow so hopefully it will tone down a little bit of the brightness so this is what the actual powder looks like it is like a yellowy color. It's actually really nice. It's not like super drying. It does have like a really nice matte finish underneath the eyes. And I actually really, really like that yellow undertone. So, okay. I'm high. Skin is actually looking really, really nice, you guys. So to set the, f the rest of my face, I actually did pick up a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I did pick this up because Ulta was having their, you know, 21 Days of Beauty. And this was on sale for one of the days. So if you can catch it on sale, definitely pick it up. Definitely, definitely pick it up. Like, it is a must-have. But... If you guys are looking for a cheaper alternative that is going to do the same thing, I highly recommend my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. So I am just going to use this to set the rest of the face. This is going to set your makeup in place and also give you a nice airbrush smooth finish to the skin. And of course, make sure that your foundation is locked and is gonna last all day. Okay, so for bronzer, we're gonna be using the new Morphe Glamazon bronzer. I did pick up the shade Originator. This is what the bronzer looks like compared to the old packaging. Now mine is already worn in and all of the lines kind of like smudged off because this is very used and abused. So yeah, this is what the bronzer looks like. Super nice, totally up my alley. Like this is kind of like my toned and bronzer. I hate cool tone bronzers because they just make my skin look muddy. And if you guys are wondering, this is the BH Cosmetics number four brush. And this collection is the Take Me Back to Brazil collection. And I just love this brush so much for bronzer. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The bronzer is popping. So for blush, I did pick up this new blush from Wet n Wild. As you guys can see, it does say new right there. And this one is in the shade Nude Society. This is what the blush looks like. And oh my God, this is so cute. Okay, ooh, I love this. I think Wet n Wild always has good blushes. Look at that, I love that. For highlighter, I did pick up the new Nicole Guerrero palette. Um, this is new, but then again, honestly, it's not new. This is just relaunched, if that should say. So this was a limited edition highlighter palette that was in collaboration with Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero. And this came out about, girl, I don't even remember. I know that I did a whole dedicated video on showing you guys this highlighter. Let me see where I find the video. I'll probably place it right here, but that's how old it was. And it's the same formula, same everything. So this is what the highlighter palette looks like. Absolutely stunning, you guys. So the fact that they came out with it again is just so iconic, like I'm so happy. But since I already know what this looks like and I already know how it performs and I know that it's absolutely stunning, I kinda wanna try something new, new, new that like I never tried before. This one is actually from Revlon. This is the Skin Lights Highlighter. This is their Prismatic, um, right, yeah, Prismatic Highlighters. And this one is in the shade Daybreak Glimmer. But I finally <laughs> got it open. No, I didn't, I had to get my bang. But anyway, this is what the 
highlighter looks like honestly it looks stunning i love like the little like is that snake skin like kind of like dragon scales i don't know but it's cute oh yes this is really nice so to be honest what it looks like in the pan i expected it to be more like od but i'm gonna be honest with y'all i'm really not into crazy highlighting no more like i honestly prefer now more of like a natural highlight so i this right here is enough for me like i love 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 this i'm just saying compared to the pan you kind of thought you were gonna get like some od chromey type of highlight but no it's actually really pretty and wearable and i really fuck with it all right cute okay why is it not wiping off here like i'm not getting it <laughs> sir what's going on here okay there we go she she was kind of like stuck on my face for a second like back in with the morphe palette that we were using on the eyes and i'm actually just going to take this shade and run it on my lower lash line and then darken up the um outer corners with this shade and a little bit of the black so we're not doing nothing crazy on the lower lash line because obviously i want to keep the green and the yellow and the glitter kind of like the star of the show you know what i'm saying so for eyeliners i did pick up these new ones from la girl these are their shock wave eyeliners i do have three of the neon ones and then i also did pick up a black one um to be honest with you i feel like if i use one of the neon ones it's just gonna be way too much so i'm actually gonna save these for um when i do my neon tutorial with the urban decay palette so for now i am just going to use the black one Ooh, love that and then last but not least is the lips hey right, guys so i already lined my lips for liner i did use morphe bite me lip liner and for my new lipstick i am gonna try the new nyx suede matte lipstick in the shade dainty days so this is what the lipstick looks like just such a nice pretty color and i haven't used a tube lipstick like this in a hot minute so oh it's so creamy yes i'm pretty pleased with this lipstick i absolutely love it um and yeah so for setting spray i am going to be using the new morphe luminous setting spray that looks like this and i actually tried this in my last video and i love it so if you guys have not tried this this is a really really good setting spray so this is pretty much it for the makeup look of course i am going to do my hair off camera and come back and show you guys the finished makeup look all right, you guys, so this is pretty much it for this makeup tutorial, testing out hot new makeup. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Literally, the sun went down. I've been here for a couple of hours. So now I'm just gonna go grab some food, obviously go tend to my baby, because Dito, she literally came in like, Mom, are you done? Are you done? And I'm like, everybody stay safe and stay positive. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, guys, bye.